Hello everyone and welcome back. Appreciate you being here. So a little bit different uh, start to a video here today. Uh, I am fresh back from the Bunyan show and what a show that was. Uh, I think uh, I wandered around like a deer in the headlights. Met a lot of great people. I did a lot of talking. Uh, and I don't think I've seen the whole show. I was there uh, Saturday all day and then again Sunday morning and there's still people I missed. So if I missed you at the show, I apologize. Uh, today, you see me in the truck and if you see behind me in the dump trailer back there, I'm on vacation but I'm hired myself out and I'm hauling gravel today. I think this is load number seven. I'm hauling uh, about five tons at a time so I'm up to about 35 tons here so far I'm doing that for a local contractor but uh, just wanted to stop in and say I didn't get a lot of footage at Bunyan I just figured there'd be a lot bigger channels out there with a lot better equipment than I have that would probably do a way better job at putting a video together and it was my first year and like I said, deer in the headlights. So much stuff to look at. So many people walking around, walking by. I was introducing myself to a lot of the other people and a lot of channels. So uh, I did put a little bit of a, a video footage together, if nothing else, to show to my son Evan, who was not able to make it this year. But uh, as I told you in the last video, he is out on a college tour. And right now he's headed home from uh, University of Alabama. I think they hit two or three colleges. Did a little uh, round trip uh, to check out some colleges. So that was more important. But I'm going to let you go and say I put some footage together. Uh, not a lot, but just a little taste of it. And there's a lot of people I didn't get pictures with. I put a few pictures in there in the end. So if I left you out, which it was a lot of people, I did not do that on purpose. I wasn't even going to do a video, but when I got home and was watching through the footage, I got kind of excited about uh, the weekend again. And I thought, you know what? I'll just put a little short video out with a little bit of footage of what I had. So hang in there. We're going to throw that footage in there right now. Thanks for being here.
I've been trying to, I've been trying to like put a bunch of knots in and they've been turning out really nice. So it looks just like blue jewelry. Yeah, it's yeah so these things get into the, it's like, it's like a it The other ones I wanted to make, which are carved and ready when I, when I start having eye problems, you should have seen, there was this, uh, it was like denim, but yet it was all different colors. Like I've seen like, pixel. off. He took some, I don't know if you know Nick. Yeah. He, he's, he's into, probably he's into, Big time. Yeah, and these guys, these guys here, did we get um... So, all right, everybody, the rock hauling is all done. It is the next day, and uh, I'm just getting outside here. As you can see, there's some water on the truck there, but uh, had a little rain delay this morning. So, just getting out here. Me and my good friend Lamar got all the rock hauled yesterday. I wind up getting 10 loads in, so give or take about 50 tons of gravel in the Lamar. And for those of you that are wondering, I still love this trailer. So what I want to do real quick here in the end of this video is just kind of give a quick perspective of someone like me that's never been to Bunyan and do kind of a little quick recap. I'm not gonna beat, to, beat it to death or anything like that, but uh, I do have some bundles to make here with Evan's knockoff Wolf Ridge bundler. And uh, I got a tree service uh, call, and I'm going to go look at that. So real quick, if you've never been to Paul Bunyan, is it worth going? Absolutely. Uh, as I said before, I was overwhelmed. I wanted to meet everybody and use Bunyan for more of a meet and greet to finally get to uh, see some people and meet these faces I'm seeing on YouTube. And a lot of you have already met at the Hoosier Firewood Hysteria, but um, for those of you that don't know me personally, I'm a little bit more timid as far as walking up to these people and putting a camera in their face. So on the way there, I thought, you know what? I'm not gonna do any, uh, uh, get any footage. You know, I don't wanna walk up in front of someone that's looking at a splitter whether it be Easton Made, Ruggin Made, Wolf Ridge, any of the good splitter companies that are out there and try to do an interview and get in between them when they might be a prospective buyer. So um, I struggled with that, but uh, I do like some videos that people have put out. There's been a couple great videos and I hate naming names, but Mike at K&L put a great video out uh, you get a very good taste of the, the people that were there and the YouTubers that were there. And I was there for two days and never even seen half of these people. So that gives you a little idea of how I wandered around just in awe of everything that was there. Uh, and also, Heath and Rachel over at Hardworking Man, they put an excellent video out. Um, for those of you that weren't there and wanted to get there and meet some of these YouTubers and get a new personal uh uh, level of uh, or personal more see how they are more personally in person um, two good videos to watch right there so with that being said everybody my final thoughts on the Paul Bunyan show if you're able just go uh, if I would change anything about it it would be to try to spend more than just a day and a half there personally I wish I could have got there sooner where I'd been able to enjoy the Friday Night Live and get more of that meet and greet out of the way. So that way, when I got to the show, I could actually get in there and get dirty, run some machines and stuff like that because uh, I didn't do any of that. Um, overall, great experience. Try to get uh, at least two to three full days in. That way, your first day, you could do your meeting and greeting and talking, that's what I love to do, is talk to people and move around. And then at the end of the day, if you're wanting to put some faces with names, head over to the Easton Maid or the Wolf Ridge booth, because uh, from what I hear, that's where everybody was at, and I was not. I was uh, over on the other side, a part that I didn't see. So a uh, couple tips there for you if you're new or you're, you haven't been yet. And the other thing, take pictures. Uh, there was a lot of after show stuff that went on going out to eat. I wish I'd have taken more pictures and I'd have been able to uh, put more pictures in the end of the video here. So uh, that's a couple tidbits I took away from it. I missed entire booths. 
I didn't see the brute force booth. I don't know how I missed it. So yeah, a little bit poor planning on my part, but overall great experience. Just get yourself there and try to spend more than one or two days because there's a lot to do. So I'm going to let you all go for this one. I appreciate you coming along. And uh, I'm going to leave you in the end of this video with some pictures that I captured just Sunday morning. Just whoever was left at the show. So if you were left out and it was a lot of you, it was only a few people I ran into Sunday morning that were still hanging around. So, all right, let's wrap it up. Until next time, like I always like to say, get outside. We'll see you.